I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Dear brethren, how are you? I hope the Lord has been with you and you are fine in the Lord and uh, would like to welcome you and um, invite you to our today's uh, focus. And today is uh, day 74 of our 100 days of prayer and we are focusing on uh, the Bible in the book of um, in the book of John 16 verse 8 to 11 John 16 verse 8 to 11 and the title of today is a, convi a saving conviction saving conviction shall we humble ourselves uh, to pray before we proceed let's pray our kind and loving master in heaven we come before thy throne of grace this moment we thank you for the opportunity that you have given unto us to worship you and even to listen unto thee and as we read this word we invoke thy holy presence so that he can interpret it for us and Jehovah God at the end of it all we will be drawn closer and closer to thee thank you for my dear viewer may you be with him or her and Jehovah God I pray that may the Holy Spirit dwell in his heart so that the word that we will read today and the devotion we will have today will draw him closer and closer to you because it will find a praise in his heart it is in Jesus Christ we have prayed and given thanks Thanks. Amen. Amen. The Bible in the book of John 16, John 16, verse 8 to 11. It says, I'm reading from the New King James Version. You can read with the translation that you have. The Bible says from verse 8, And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness because I go to my father. I will repeat again. Of sin because they do not believe in me of righteousness because I go to my father and you see me no more of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged praise the Lord the promise of the Holy Spirit is not limited to any age or to any race. Remember, this is a time that Jesus Christ was speaking to the disciples and they had a conversation, a long conversation, because he was nearing his time to depart. And he was giving them encouragement because they had, were filled with a lot of anxiety. They could not imagine of how they will live without him. And and Jesus here was giving them instructions, was giving them hope, and the hope that he gave unto them, the one that we are discussing these days, or we have been discussing for some days past, is the promise of the Holy Spirit. And now he is insisting that this Spirit will enable you to go in deep into the world and spread to them, uh, to, 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 to them the good news of salvation. And he was telling them, that when you go to the world, the Holy Spirit will be with you. He will not forsake you, but he will be with you. Christ declared that the divine influence of his spirit was to be with his followers unto the end. It is not only for a certain time. It was not only for some times or for a little time after he had left, but he told them that his spirit would be with them till the end. From the day of Pentecost to the present time the comforter has been sent to all who have yielded themselves fully to the Lord and to his service to all who have accepted Christ as a personal savior the Holy Spirit has come as a counselor sanctifier guide and witness part of the Holy Spirit's work is to convict of sin as the word has told us righteousness and also judgment. These three elements of his work of conviction are represented in the sanctuary and its services. Remember the other sanctuary which was a type of the heavenly sanctuary. In the courtyard is, is where the, the, the other uh, uh, sanctuary and also a heavenly sanctuary we see that there was a courtyard and this is where the sacrifice for sin took place. And what was it uh, to 
signifying. It was signifying or it was pointing to Jesus on the cross. In the holy place, the three elements of experience, uh, experiencing the imparted righteousness of Christ were revealed in the table of showbread. Yeah? The altar of incense also was uh, signifying the prayer that we offer daily today. And the candlestick, remember there was a candlestick which was there, was, is the spirit filled witnessing where, remember the candlestick, the, the candles never went off. It continued lighting each and every day, day and night. The priests were there or the rabbis were there to make sure that the candlestick burned day and night. And that's the same thing, that the spirit filled witnessing in our lives today should continue burning each and every day. All of which were exemplified in the life of Christ as a model for us today. And in the most holy place, we are reminded of the importance and reality of the judgment as the high priest only entered in it on the day of atonement. Jesus engaging in the investigative judgment on your behalf today is the high priest. Are you not happy when Jesus who understands as he has lived as we have lived, he was tempted as we were tempted. He is the one who is there fighting for you, advocating for you. It is a wonderful experience and we are happy. We are relieved because even if we fall, when we wake up, he understands and he forgives us. In other words, the Holy Spirit's work is to lead you into a salvific experience through faith in everything that Jesus has done and is doing for you. Can you see the important and beautiful work of the Holy Spirit as a Christian? It, is, it, it goes without word that, it, that we cannot survive in our spiritual journey without the Holy Spirit. Today, will you joyfully embrace his work of conviction and let him not only lead you to Jesus, but make you like him in character in preparation for the judgment. Because for sure, when you accept the Holy Spirit to make you like the character or have the character of Jesus Christ, it will be wonderful because when he comes that character will be revealed and he will say this is my daughter this is my son and he will usher you in to his kingdom today is a high time that I'm calling you to accept Jesus in your life to accept the Holy Spirit to work upon you to accept the Holy Spirit to reveal Jesus uh, character in your life and to prepare you for eternity my dear brethren my dear sister I pray that may you allow the Holy Spirit in your life. It is a high time not to resist the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. We looked at the fruits of the Holy Spirit and there is no way that we can bear those fruits without inviting him into our lives. Today as we get into the session of prayer, I want you to rededicate your life to Jesus. I want you to ask the Holy Spirit to dwell in you so that he can work in accordance to the will of God. And at the end of it all, when our destiny comes, because we are looking forward for the second coming of Jesus Christ, he will not deny us, but he will accept us into his kingdom. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving master in heaven, we are thankful and grateful for the opportunity you have given unto us so that we can hear of your word. We invoke thy holy presence in our midst and we ask him that may he form our, our, our characters or may he uh, 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 build in us the character of Jesus Christ so that as we call ourselves as Christians, we are not only saying that we are Christians by our mouths, but Father, our characters, our actions, our words, our words, our meditations will be conformed to his likeness. Thank you because you are faithful and you are with us. Us. Thank you because of my dear viewer, he has taken some time to listen to this word. May this word have an impact in his soul. And Father, may he be drawn, uh, may he or she be drawn closer unto thee. May he be prepared for your second coming. And Jehovah God, may you convict, may, may you, the Holy Spirit that you send unto him, convict him of the sins that he has committed so that he can confess. And Father, may he enable him to forget of the sins that he has confessed so that he can be able to move on 
with life. Thank you because you are faithful. And thank you because of your faithfulness. And thank you because of the grace that is so much abundant that you have bestowed upon our lives. It is in that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we have prayed and given thanks. Amen and amen. Thank you, my dear viewer, for taking your time. May you continue sharing this message so that many can be blessed. And I would like to request you that do not hesitate to allow the Holy Spirit dwell in your heart and work in your heart. May God bless you and remember to stay safe in these moments of the pandemic.